Welcome to ETF Wrap, your weekly digest of the top stories in European ETFs. I'm Jamie Gordon, Senior Features Reporter at ETF Stream, and today we'll be examining changes of leadership at Northern Trust Asset Management, State Street Global Advisors, and Global X. Next, the fee war continues as State Street's S&P 500 ETF collects 1 billion euros of inflows. And finally, a big name disrupts the carbon allowances space with a physical carbon ETC. First, ETF issuers appear to be playing a game of musical chairs, with three firms seeing changes of leadership. The future of Northern Trust's European business is being called into question, following the departure of Mia Head, Marie Zanitz, along with a number of other senior staff. Following this news, the firm decided to shut its two emerging market ETFs, having launched just five ETFs since entering Europe in March 2021. Elsewhere, SSGA has promoted Anne Prendergast to Mia Head after 23 years at the firm. The move follows the retirement of former MIA head Rory Tobin in June. And finally, Global X CEO Luis Baruga has departed the firm after almost 10 years for personal reasons. Baruga oversaw the group's entry to Europe in 2020 and the acquisition of ETF Securities Australia last year. He'll be replaced by interim CEO Thomas Park, who currently heads up the US arm of parent company Mireille Asset. Next, SSGA's S&P 500 ETF has welcomed 1.1 billion euros of inflows since its fees were cut last month. The asset gathering comes after SPY5 saw its expense ratio slashed from nine to three basis points to become Europe's lowest fee ETF. The move shows fee compression is still very much on the agenda for large issuers competing in broad market exposures. It also comes after the ETF amassed just 35 million euros of new money during the first 10 months of the year. However, investors must remember Fees are not everything when it comes to total cost of ownership. In fact, SPY5 still doesn't hold the crown for Europe's cheapest ETF when trading spreads and tax treatment on dividends are factored in. Finally, competition heats up in the carbon allowances space, with DWS launching a spot carbon ETC. The product becomes the second of the physical exposure to EU carbon allowances after Spark Change entered the space in 2021. The new DWS ETC undercuts Spark Change's product by 10 basis points, which prompts the question, where can small providers find a niche if large issuers imitate their innovations? And that's a wrap for this week. A quick shout out to our editor, Tom Eckert, who won ETF Journalist of the Year for his work on free hedging. Thank you and join us again next Friday. Until then, take care.